Good morning students. Today we will start chapter first of our economics book. In earlier video we discussed about the syllabus of our subject. Okay. So today we are going to start first chapter so that the name of the chapter is economics and economy. Okay. So what is the meaning of economics that we have discussed in our earlier video. Yes. Can you tell me what is the meaning of economics. Economics, we study that economics is that branch of study, that branch of study in which we discuss or we study how scarce resources can be utilized at the optimum point that that a producer get maximum profit Consumer get maximum, what will consumer get? Maximum satisfaction. And society get maximum welfare. Society get maximum welfare. So economics is that branch of study in which we discuss how scarce resources can be utilized at the optimum means maximum point. That a producer get maximum profit, consumer get maximum satisfaction and a society get maximum welfare. So producer always want to maximize his profit. Consumer want to maximize his satisfaction from out his buzzard and society want to get maximum welfare. Okay. So what is the meaning of scare? That is related to the scarcity. Okay. Scarcity. So what is scarcity? Why we are talking that scare resources can be utilized at the optimum point. So scarcity for example, imagine yourself as a richest person on the earth. Okay. So, you have all the resources. Okay. Then also, whatever you have, you will be desired more. Okay. Means you cannot buy all the things. You are the richest person on the earth, but you cannot buy all the things. So, scarcity Scarcity, we can say, refers to a situation, refers to a situation, refers to a situation when whatever we have, we have is less, is less compared to our want. Our want. Why? Why there is scarcity? Because our wants are unlimited. Okay. So unlimited wants cannot be satisfied from the scarce resources. Because resources are scarce. Okay. So scarcity refers to a situation when whatever we have is less than to our wants. For example, you have a hundred rupees and you cannot buy, uh, you go to the market and you want to purchase something for, for example, fruits from that hundred rupees. Okay. So uh, there is hundred rupees kg apple. Okay. Apple price is hundred rupees per kg. Okay. So what will happen that you will how choice that you can take apple from the 100 rupees or you can take other things. You cannot buy.
buy all the things okay so scarcity refers to a situation means you are having 100 rupee rupees but that is less compared to your want because wants are unlimited we cannot satisfy all our wants okay then what happen when there is scarcity in the resources then the problem of choice arise problem of choice arise how as i give you example you having 100 rupees and you go to the market so there is 100 rupees per kg apple price and orange is also 100 per rupees so you have the choice okay that either you can take the apple or you can take the orange so whatever you want to take you will choose that so choice because of scarcity problem of choice also arise so how problem of choice arise because resources are scarce and why there is scarcity because our wants are unlimited and we cannot satisfy all our wants okay so we study that economics in which we study how scarce our resources are scarce so this Clear resources should be utilized in such a manner that producer get maximum profit. Producer always want to maximize his profit. Okay. Whatever cost he bear, he want to maximize profit from the price of the commodity. If higher cost, cost of the production is higher, then there will be higher price of the commodity. If cost is lower, then there will be lower price of the commodity. And a consumer get maximum satisfaction. You are going to the market and you purchase a new dress for you. And you spend 1000 rupees on that. So you want to get maximum satisfaction out of this 1000 rupees. Okay. So consumer always want to maximize satisfaction. And society want to get maximum welfare. Means because of production in the economy that society should not get harm okay there should be welfare of the society or we can say public facility should be provided so economics is all about all these things that scare there is scarcity resources are scarce and there is because of that there is scarcity and because of scarcity problem of choice arise okay then we have macro and micro okay macro and micro so what is the meaning of macro and micro firstly you are studying in 11th micro and in 12th you will study macroeconomics okay so micro micro and macro micro Micro is taken from Greek word macros, micros, which what it means? It means small. Okay. So microeconomics, as in a, your eleventh class, we will study microeconomics. So micro means study at a small level, study of economy at the small level. Small we mean we can say individual level, like consumer, producer, theory of demand, like demand of a com. Zoomer in the economy, supply, supply by producer in the economy. See, we, so we will discuss at an individual level, okay? And macro, macro is taken from Greek word macros, macros. So what it means? It means lars, it means lars, okay? It means lars. So we will discuss in macroeconomics economic problem economic problem at a national level at a national level for example in macroeconomics we discuss for example in macroeconomics we discuss or we study problem of 
poverty unemployment unemployment money national income so all these concept are related to national level okay so in macroeconomics we study economic problem at a national level and in micro we study economic problem at a individual level okay so you what well, this is the basic difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics okay micro means study of economic problem at a individual level or at a small level like we will discuss in microeconomics theory of demand so demand by a consumer okay producer producer equilibrium so producer one producer if study of a firm we can say market okay so all these we will study at a individual level but in macro we discuss economic problem at a national level so this is the difference so today we have discuss about the meaning of economics scarce city scarce city means situation when whatever we have is always less than whatever we desire and because of that there is problem of choice so what is the choice choice create the decision making means 100 rupees you have so how to take the decision whatever you want to purchase okay so students watch the video and also read this first chapter topic like the meaning of scarcity economics choice micro and macro these four topics you have to study from your book if you face any problem any doubt you are free to ask thank you